Look at you looking all dappered up, man. With the ashes on your fucking shirt. <laughs> what is up, everyone? Just in here for another video. Currently, I'm at my friend Matt's house. This is his car. And um, if you can tell by the title of the video, I got a new car. Now, it just started raining. Like, those shots that I put in before. Like, literally, it started raining right after I filmed those. So, I'm kind of waiting for that shit to die down because I don't want his camera to get fucked up. Me and him yesterday went to go pick up a new car. And, well, it shouldn't be raining that much. I'm gonna show you guys the new car. Oh no, it's raining too damn much. It doesn't look like my camera, but it's raining pretty. It's not that bad, but yes. I went out and I sold the Integra the other day. Sadly, I'm gonna miss it. But I went out and brought me a 2005 IS300. So. Ugh, God fucking damn. You know what? It's not raining that bad. I can show you guys really quick. There she is. Sadly, got rid of the Integra, but this is cool, you know. And as the title would suggest, I paid $750 for it. $760, but $750 sounds better. Now, before I show you guys it, it is extremely dirty on the inside. We haven't got a chance to clean it out yet. This is it. It is dirty as hell. Matt's going to detail the fuck out of this car because he loves doing that type of stuff. So, yeah. Now, I know this car is very different than anything I've ever had. I've had a lot of cars and this is my first Toyota or Lexus, whatever. This guy with this Del Sol wanted to trade me, but um, we didn't end up doing it. He didn't want to do it or whatever, so... I was like, okay, cool. And this other dude wanted to buy my car. So, I actually did, like, film some videos of that, but I didn't like it. So, I didn't. That's why I'm making this video. This is the first video that will be put up about the IS. Sold the car last night and went, or night before last, and went to pick this up yesterday. So, because today is Thursday for me. But, you know, the intentions wasn't even to get this car. Um, actually, I was supposed to go... And get a S13 hatch. Now it was an automatic, just like this shit. But you know, a 240 is a lot easier to find a manual K trans than a manual software IS. So I was gonna get that, but it was just too far away. Like it was like three hours away. This car was an hour and a half away, hour and forty away. So um I ended up getting this and I got a pretty damn good deal on it. Made it all the way back. The only problem we had was um it started overheating a little bit. But I knew that was going to happen because, like, the radiator cap won't stay on for one. And two, there was no cooling in it when we first got it. So I figured it was going to happen. But it literally started overheating when we were, like, ten minutes away. So it wasn't a big deal. As you see, it is indeed raining because we live in Virginia. The plans are for this car, I really don't know yet, you know. I'm going to start off by doing a little bit of maintenance shit. The first thing we're going to do when Matt gets back is clean this shit out. Because it is fucking disgusting. But... And I need to get me another key because this key, as you can see, is focus, focus, well, it's fucked up. And I almost broke it in the ignition already. Starter up for you guys. And it has an exhaust on it. It's not, I don't think it's like a real exhaust. I think it's honestly just a muffler bleed. Check engine light in a fuck ton of miles. But miles really don't mean anything to me, honestly. Just a number. Oh yeah, uh, sounds pretty damn good. If I do say so myself, it's a little. <laughs> oh, I still can't believe I own this fucking car. My first inline six, and it's a two J. So that's pretty damn cool. I don't care what you say about it. Um, I can show you a little bit under the hood. I don't want this camera to get fucked up. If it was mine, I wouldn't care, but it's not my shot. It helps you. I do see some myself. It just has an intake on it. it needs an engine bay clean as well. But she ran, you know, made it all the way back without a single problem. Didn't burn any oil. Didn't smell anything. So 
she's all Gucci. Gotta slam the hood, if not, it won't fucking close. Yes, yeah, sadly, it is an automatic, but you know, a lot of people are probably like, oh, why would you get an auto? If you know anything about IS300s, you know that the manuals are rare for one, and they're expensive as shit, so. Let's take her up the street. I'm not gonna go too far because the garage is closed or open. I should just like send it. <laughs> It's pretty slow, if I do say so myself. It is pretty damn slow, but, and it needs an alignment and some suspension work really badly, but all in all, it's not a bad fucking car. I even got the little slam shifter. <laughs> This is the new car. I will miss the Integra, as you see it pulls to the right, but I will miss the Integra, but this is so different and out of my comfort zone that I'm just like super excited to fucking start working on it. But um, yeah, I really just want to make a video on it, you know, so I'd have, so some people would have some sort of like clue as to what the hell is going on and shit, because I haven't made a video in like three weeks. Because I was just debating on getting rid of the Integra, and I can't believe I did it, but I finally fucking did it. It's probably gonna need a power steering pump because it's whining like I'm supercharged. So, yeah, this is the new car, guys. And, um, yeah, so, um, I literally brought a bunch of stuff for it last night. Uh, well, not a bunch of stuff, but I brought like some oil. I'm gonna change the oil. Um, change the oil. I'm gonna do a coolant flush, and I might get a thermostat. I need to go give me another radiator cap, and um, she should be good for a while. And then I'll start doing like brakes and shit in a few weeks. So yeah, that's that's it, man. But that's all I got for you guys today. I'm gonna get out this hot ass car because it does not have AC. Definitely need to fix that shit. But I'm going to get out of this hot ass fucking car. And um, hopefully you guys like the new car. It's it's going to be pretty damn cool. Like, I, I promise. Like, honestly, I got some stuff to take care of on this car. But if I can't get that taken care of, even if I can get it taken care of, I think this car is going to be a drift car. Because I've always wanted a drift car. I know it's the basic thing to do. But... The drifting community is so cool and drifting is fun. So, yeah, but that's all I got for you guys today. I'll probably end up making another video today. Uh, whenever Matt gets back, I can use his garage so he can move his car so I can change the oil on this shit and do a coolant flush. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, you guys like the new car. If you don't, oh well. Uh, but, anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bitch, let me roll my dope, don't get too fucked by what you mean Look, I, I, I been on it, roll two, three, four week, like what you mean huh. Phone call after phone, call my trap, boom, like Wall Street And I just smoked the O, but still real car stretch in point threes Look, I didn't care